How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all, hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. Also if you guys would please head over to Twitch, follow me there at Douglas447. I've been streaming a lot of Halo and Battlefield, Call of Duty and uh, Destiny 2. And of course, if you guys have any movies or shows you guys want me to watch and review here on the channel, please let me know in the comment section down below. I've been doing a lot of those recently. And uh, this is a film that I have had absolutely zero interest in watching. It's been something that's on my watch later list uh, on Google Play. I've heard good things about Goodwill Hunting, but I just really didn't care about it. And I decided, you know what? It's time to get this one off the watch list watch it, talk about it, and review it for you guys. Uh, if you guys don't know, this movie came out in 1998. It is about two hours and six minutes long, and it is rated R. And the only two negative things that I want to talk about with this movie, really briefly, is that this movie is extremely predictable throughout its entire runtime. This movie is predictable. There's really no shock, twist, or turns and revelations that I didn't see coming. When they do happen, they are emotional, but I did see them coming. And like I said, this movie is rated R because this movie is stuffed with a abundance of unnecessary language moments. Those are the only two negatives really in this film. And so because of that, this film loses a point. But overall, I really had a blast, even if you can ignore those two negative things. This film on average is about $3 to rent, $13 to buy, and this film stars Robin Williams, Matt Damon, and Ben Affleck. And this tells the powerful drama story about a person that has a really high intelligence. And unfortunately, because he ends up running into um, trouble and he gets arrested and he's on parole, because of these unwise uh, choices that he makes, it leads to this professor, played by Robin Williams, teaching him and trying to make it where this professor gives him one last chance to turn his life around for the better and try to make a impact on the world with his knowledge but there's always a choice involved do you want to show it do you want to you know chase the girl or do you want to chase becoming a really skilled mathematician so there's there's just a lot of great life lessons and a lot of life values throughout this entire film another thing that this film encourages is that you can do anything, you can be anything, and that you are bound by nothing. If you have a really high intelligence and you don't want to use it, that's fine. And then there's other people in the world that are going to pressure you into using that intelligence to not only better yourself, but to better the world and to try to make other people look good. This film overall is just really entertaining. There's a lot of great funny moments. It's full of life, full of energy. And of course, towards the later half of the film, there are some heartbreaking moments there's just a lot of emotion in this film, especially when Robin Williams' character and Ben Affleck's character tells Damien's character in different ways and in different scenes that life is not all in books. Like, you can read as many books as you want to. You can be very knowledgeable, but unless you go out in the world and explore it and live in it, you don't have a really good understanding you don't have a good knowledge you can read and read and read about different topics and subjects but unless you've actually been there and you've actually seen it with your own two not with your own two eyes you're just spewing out information that you've read in the book um and the film like i said it's very emotional the ending is going to make you cry this, this there's very few movies that make me cry in the end this film has an ending where it's going to make you cry, but it's also going to put a smile on your face. And I think a lot of modern day films, unfortunately, don't know how to do that. A lot of action films that we get today, they don't put a smile on your face in a way that an emotional drama can. And lastly, the musical score by Danny Elfman, which of course is famous for the Spider-Man soundtrack, does a fantastic job and I encourage you guys to check this film out Goodwill Hunting even though it is rated R and it does have a couple problems I think this is a really great watch and like I said I had no interest in watching this film and yeah it is a slow burner it is a drama it's not a Marvel Cinematic Universe type of action film 
this is a very basic film. It's a very grounded film. Though it is predictable and it has language in it, I encourage you guys, check this movie out at least once. Watch this movie at least once. It is definitely worth $3 just to rent it, to spend two hours and watch it with your friends and family. Of course, this isn't going to be great for younger audiences because of the language, but I really enjoyed Good Will Hunting more than I really thought I was going to. I was blown away by this movie. I've seen it, the ending, like the last five minutes of it, from time to time on cable TV, but this is the first time me ever watching it from start to finish, ever, and I really had a blast. Hope you guys check it out. Good Will Hunting from 1998. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys all have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye, guys.